Hello and welcome back to Redirecting. I have a very quick video that I am going to be showing you. Um, it is another one of those uh, instances where um, someone feels the need to call police on black people. This time they were eating lunch at the park and this white man calls the cops because he felt like they were too close. And so as he's explaining things to the police, um, he just throws this in there and you can kind of tell that he threw it in there because he didn't say it initially. He said, well, he threatened me. And so um, his girlfriend that was sitting at the table with him, um, the, the black guy who was filming says, um, did I threaten him? Did I threaten him? And she says, well, you all were getting kind of heated or whatever in your conversation. He says, no, but did I threaten him? She says, no. So. My thing is this, why the need to lie? I'm gonna roll the video in a minute, but I wanna get my commentary out of the way uh, real quick, cause I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on this, but why do you feel the need to lie? Do you think that's gonna sway the officer's decision and make him just pull out his gun and blast away because you said, oh, he threatened me? So you throw the lie in there. It shows that your character is deeply flawed, that you are reprobate in nature, that you do not connect to the truth, and you are trying to use a system to work in your favor against people who are just sitting there eating lunch. Now, the amazing twist to all of this is that um, there were two white females at another table nearby. They overheard everything that was going on. And so they politely got up and they said, look, you all can have my table. Said this to the uh, white uh, man and his girlfriend, and I will sit here with these people. So she diffused, the, these, they diffused the situation and they gladly sat there with the black people and they began to converse with one another. And uh, she said um, she didn't realize what was going on and then she over, er, overheard everything and so, uh, that's pretty much the story in a nutshell, but I want you all to just pay very close attention to how these people are using the system that they already know is deeply established and in place to try to get black people hurt or to control black people, to get you to either leave the park, leave the table or whatever, or pay the consequences with your life possibly because how dare you sit there in our space. In this case, it didn't work because um, these two white women, they diffused things and the cop was um, somewhat fair in things. Some of his wording I thought was a little questionable, but um, at the end of the day, this was all diffused. Um, the crybaby got his little seat far away from the black people, which was really the goal in the first place. But anyway, here is the video and leave your comments in the comment section. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. That is it. <laughs> Can I see that? Sir, what's up, man? I'm Brandon. How you doing? Hey, how are you, sir? Yeah. Um, what's what's your guys' side story? What's going on here? Yeah, we just yeah. sitting down having lunch. Okay. Did you two have a conversation of any kind? No, he asked me to leave. I was like, well, he said, well, you're not following so this as I am. Mm -hmm. So he's like, we'll get out of here. I'm like, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Um, is there a solution that we can all agree on? Any, I mean, where any, I'm any done, suggestions here? I mean, where I'm not eating, so I, I don't know why he felt like he needed to call the cops. Uh-huh. Yeah. Six, six foot man. Six foot so this is This is this is literally I mean we're just having lunch, bro. You're like you making this shit a big deal. You're like, we're just having lunch. Big deal. Okay. Um you're almost done with your lunch. Mm -hmm. How much longer? Like two, like two minutes. minutes. Two minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Two minutes okay with you, sir? Don't, okay. don't ever be are, this guy. Are, are, are you guys done with your lunch? Are you done with your lunch? Um, yeah, I guess so. Okay. Is there anything else that you have planned for the rest of the day now that you're done with your lunch? 
we, we're going to enjoy our time in the park. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't live here, so uh -huh. you know, it, it, took me, it took me a while to, to get all the way down here. Now, okay. So. They have better stuff to do, man, than, uh -huh. than this, man. You know, like that's crazy. Okay. Um, did you guys need to be at this picnic table right now? We, we were already here first. Right? Okay. And it's a public spot, right. so here's the deal. We got we got egos going on right now from both sides. Okay. I. There's no need to go there anymore, so if, if there's another spot somebody can agree to go to, then this will all end. And yeah, can you guys time. agree to go to another spot? We were here first. But you called the cops like a little girl. He threatened me. He didn't uh, threaten you. Stop he saying that. We're gonna beat up, no, he did it. He that, that's, that, that. Just as you talk, just because a black guy is talking to you doesn't mean that yeah. he's going to beat you up, man. Black and racial, man. Come on, he never said I did, did I say I was going to beat you up? Okay. Yes. Did I say I was going to Can I provide a solution then? Well, I'm a freaking millionaire. Oh, you think I'm going to be out here fighting you? You guys got two minutes I'm literally... <laughs> you crazy as hell. You think I'm going to fight you, bro? I... Um, Come on, man. Did I say I was going to fight him? Oh, we were just enjoying our lunch. But did I say I was going to beat him up? Be I honest. mean, yeah, you guys did have some tension going on. But did I say that? Come yeah, on. Yeah. You know, even, if I, even if I did, that's not a crime, but I didn't say that. So, what do you think like, come on, man. Come on, man. Just have a good day, man. It's Saturday. You know, everybody's hanging out, man. Like, you calling the cops here. They got so much stuff to do. You calling them here for nothing. You tripping, man. Well, if you're scared, go to church, man. Okay. Well, what's the solution here, guys? What do you guys want? We're, we're, we're chilling, man. Okay, you're, you're chilling. Yeah. You're about to finish lunch. Cool. Is there another part of the park that you would like to go to, sir? This, this was it. <laughs> okay. okay. Is it because you wanted to sit or you want to switch places? Yeah. Is that I'm something you'd like to do? Okay, thank okay. you. Well, would you Would you like you're to take that picnic table? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Discrimination drives me crazy. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I did not realize what was going on, and once yeah. I did, I was like, <laughs> This guy literally no, called the cops. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm done with this. Okay. Well, well we're all having a hard day. Um, I mean, why couldn't Saturday? they come sit at our table? Appreciate it. I don't understand. Thank, thank you, officer. Oh, I know, you, I know what you're doing. So, <laughs> I got my hand sanitizer. I, I make sand. I make Thank hand sanitizer too. All that you guys do. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate all that you guys do. It's cool. Cool. Cool cop. Cool cop right there. Same place. Unbelievable. I know. When I realized what was going on, I thought, no. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.